Just recording gates. Let's see, Martello started it a minute ago. I'm running a rally. Let's see who else needs a rally. Wow. Hmm. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Sing it again. New world. Pujo's in, so he's good. Let's see if we fill up. Yep, got those buffs on. Those buffs are on, and that buff is up. Oh, March 39 seconds before me. That's probably a good time. Well, 43%.
way of dealing extra damage. Should always do it once during gates. Set my march to my maximum damage. That's not my right march. Oh yeah, it was. I shouldn't be adding in cavalry, I should add in distance. Yeah, I have way too many cavalry. These are both cavalry. Next time I'll add distance instead, we'll see if it does more damage. Cavalry at least. Seven. Gates are so boring. What do I do for gates on my other account? Kill beasts. A little more power on this account than that account.
Now, since I used my emergency already, I'll pull a couple of speed ups in here. Because I'm on the corner, it takes me a little longer to get to than if I was straight off. Not much, just a little. But if I could save 20 seconds, I'll do it. And then this clicks, so it takes me longer. But yeah, I don't want Cavaliers, I want my Grenadiers. I know we were talking about heroes. Here's an example. Peggy. Right. Infantry will be greatly strengthened. Infantry doesn't do a lot of damage. Let's look at the next one, Felicia. Distance damage and sword, sword and shadow is unlocked. Your distance will be greatly strengthened. Sword and shadow is this ability here. 60% chance of inflicting a shred effect. Increasing the damage by 25%. Now you might say that's pretty good, but you know, it's only a chance, right? Checking in here. But now, when you pair her up with the right hero, like we're going to pair her up with Tamir, look what he says. Damage received is less. And when Tamir Scimitar, that's this one, troops have 10% chance of launching an additional attack, but if the enemy troops are under a shred effect, this increases to 20%. Shred effect is what Felicia gives. So he's reducing damage and the distance will be greatly strengthened. So if you choose your two heroes and then you add more, it increases distance defense by 12%. Some of the later heroes actually increase the attack. I don't know if I have any of them worthwhile yet. And you can look, they make it simple. You know, this little symbol here means these are artillery. I mean, uh, distance troops. Phoebus is definitely for garrison. He defends your castle. I should probably level up Darius at some point. I got Barnaby right now. And I'll show you why I like Barnaby at low levels. Because his... He gives you a 40% buff on defense. I have a long way to go for that. you got to get this one to level 10 first. So I don't know. I might just go with Darius now that I got him. Let me check here. Make sure there's no artillery. Nope. my reports. So 58499 damage. Well, I only gave, no, I was 60% that time. This one was a lot more damage, 17501, but I, my troops gave less percentage, so that means I had stronger people with me. So you can't always tell by that. The way to tell is in the leaderboard.
and I don't have a great number of troops. I just have one really good march. Ah, you never want to see war rally canceled. That's terrible. seeing that. That means somebody just sat their troops out for five minutes for no reason. And the way you see that, you go to Alliance and War. You see he's got five, he's got two. I guess I should get my troops back. And get in the next fight. So you have troop setups. But they're not always set up for when you have your full buffs on. My setup is only set for no buffs. That's why I have to add troops every time I launch them. I need to modify that. We got five minutes, I'll show you. Let's show you where that's done. Right here. Go to drill grounds. Formation setting. All right, we're on setting one. And if you could see, I could add the grenadiers there and save it. Because that has my max troops, because I have all my buffs on. Now, next time I use that, it will automatically default to those troops. If I don't have that many troops, it will automatically remove them. In theory, I could set up two different marches, but I probably won't do that. I'm lazy. Let's see how much damage we did with all infantry. 65. Again, not as much as my high. 60% damage. I wish they'd give you battle details. You can't really see. All they show you is points. It doesn't tell you how much damage you did as a percentage of that 65,000. I kind of wish they would. Maybe future update. Three minute rally time, nine minutes left on the gate, so I should get back at six minutes, which means I'll get one more battle in. Definitely will probably have to rush that in. And this is why I say this is a timed event. If I would have dawdled a little more on some of those first couple of rallies, I wouldn't make that last rally in at six minutes. Really, you have to be five minutes plus your march time. So I could probably go down to five minutes and 30 seconds. But then if somebody marches slower, I march as slow as my slowest person in a rally. So I always I always leave it, you know, a full minute for march. You always got that one guy who walks slow. In two minutes, so Six minutes and 30 seconds it will start. we will probably hit at six minutes, so I have to get my troops back fast if I'm going to get another rally in. How many rallies did I do so far? 
one, two, three, four, so we'll get five in. Mostly because I didn't start first. I started third, second, I don't know, second. So the whole effort is to try and make up that time. The idea of staggering marches is because in theory, and what it appears people are doing, is when you get back from this march, you probably still have time to join this march, because that's got two minutes. That's rallying now, so if you 30 seconds to the gate and back, right, you'll still have time to join this rally. So that's why extra marches are pretty good. You only got one spot open. So we should probably do four marches if you have this many people on. Assuming people are watching to make sure they could join. You don't want to cancel march. Like we had. Watch how much quicker I get my troops off because I set up the march already. Well, first I'm going to speed them back. What I'm saying, I'm at six minutes now, so I got to get them back fast. So my march is out at five minutes. I got five minutes and 40 seconds remaining. So I should get that march off. Making sure I have no, if somebody hits um, artillery here, I won't make it. Without artillery, I should make it with just the last couple of seconds. See the way every second matters in this game by speeding my troops back every time. I would have never gotten that march in if I didn't do that. Even now, it's going to be close. I'll tell you. Uh, what are we saying here? Late. I'm not late. I am golden. This one's very important to keep looking and make sure there's no cavalry, no uh, artillery, sorry. I don't like that going first. I 
Hard to do math with the clock ticking like this. I guess at three minutes, I'll see. I started to spectorate already. Yes, I got 45 seconds to make it there, so as long as I don't have artillery, I'll be good. And I don't. And the rally is full. Look at my rally cap, over a million. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to record the spectre array, but we did just start it. And you always want to make sure you destroy the farm. Let's see where it is. Uh, resources. I'm not probably destroyed it already. Because people who are gathering that aren't paying attention, um, the troops are in the farm instead of being at home to protect themselves. Force people. I think that's not equalized. Oh, this. How do I have one little. Oh, my troops are out. I can't reinforce them until my troops are back. Inspector Reed is here. Yeah, 23 seconds. And how much is on the clock? 45. I got 20 seconds to spare. Tons of time. That's an eternity in Gates Land. See how we did on the rankings. Nice. All right, I am signing off later.